Hello everybody to a new video and today I'm doing a tutorial on how to teleport a player when they press space. So this is off a suggestion on one of my videos. So somebody wanted to know about teleport service and user input service. So what you want to firstly do is go to starter player and then to starter player scripts and insert a local script. You want to say game dot players dot player added go along connect function and take player as a parameter. Then you could say player dot character added go along connect function and that is it. Then what you want to do is get two services. Teleport equals game get service teleport service and user input or just input service I put is equal to game get service user input service. Then what you want to do is say input service dot input began go along connect function and give your um, key code a parameter. So I'm just going to call it code. What a code is, or a key code I should say, is what button you actually pressed. So as soon as this thing fires, this event, it will carry a parameter of the key code. So it could be space, K, E, or W, or whatever key code it is. So what you want to say is, if code dot key code is equal to enum dot key code dot space, then you get your teleport service, and then say teleport then teleport player or oh, sorry actually you get your ID first for your game and the thing is with your game you have to go to view, game explorer and then come down to places your game must be inside your game and attached to this actual game you got here so inside this places basically create a new place because this game has to be connected to it so now that I've created this place, I can copy the ID and I'm going to rename it to other place. Then I could say the ID and then player. Now I'm going to publish this game to Roblox so I can try it since you can't do this in studio. So let's do that. So it turns out the thing actually never run if you put player added to the game and character added. So I've removed them and then instead you could say player equals game dot players dot local player. And then instead of that player. And it will say to you an error cannot teleport in studio. So I'm going to publish this again to Roblox then test it out. Okay I have joined the game so let's see what happens. And there you go I'm being teleported to the other place. Of course there's nothing to show this is different but you saw that loading screen. So there you go, tutorial on how to press a button and then teleport a player to a completely different game. 